Welcome back to Primetime Sports Monday. Now, Jamaica has incre increased its medal tally at the CAC Games as national record holder Adain Richards picked up a fourth gold medal winning the men's shot put final a short while ago. Richards threw 21.02 meters to win ahead of teammate Ashina Miller who picked up a second silver for Jamaica with a throw of 20.49 meters. Eldred Henry of the British Virgin Islands picked up bronze with a throw of 20.18 meters. The, national, the nation's medal tally now stands at 11 with four gold, two silver and five bronze. 2013 World 100 Meter Bronze Medalist Nesta Carter posted his best time in five years, a wind dated 9.92 seconds, to book his spot in tonight's final of the 100 meters at the Central American and Caribbean Games in Barranquilla, Colombia. Carter, who won his semi final, will be joined in tonight's final by compatriot Javoy Tucker, who clocked a personal best 10.08 seconds for third in his semi final. The transition was pretty good. Um, I just need to be pushing forward. Really. Just want to um, correct on a few more things in the, in the, in the race, and then with the time will come. Now the men's final will be run at 8.35 tonight. Jamaica will also have two competitors in the women's final in Janine Smith and Jura Levy. Smith clocked 11.22 seconds to win her semi-final, while Levy's 11.47 was good enough for third in her semi-final. But yes, that would be like really, really good. But as I say, just execute, execute, execute. Whenever I execute, the time come, so that's the one right now. The women's final will be run at 8.20 tonight. Earlier, Sean Rowe and Ansert White made progress to tomorrow's final of the men's 400-meter hurdles. Rowe stopped the clock at 49.69 seconds to win semi-final two of the event, while Ansert White, who ran 48.87, was a runner-up in semi-final one. Rochelle Clayton and Rhonda White will feature in the women's final, which will also be contested on Tuesday. Clayton clocked 55.45 seconds to win semi-final one of her event, while White stopped the clock in 55.77 to win semi-final two. I just wanted to go there and get the Ross. I'll find the day to prepare for tomorrow's final. <laughs> Elsewhere, Eric McKenzie qualified for the final of the 800 meters, which runs off at 8.10 tonight after finishing third in his semi-final in a minute 48.21 seconds. But his compatriot Giovanni James will not be joining him as he missed out on qualification after finishing sixth in his semi-final in a minute 50.17 seconds. And Samoya Campbell and Felon Ferguson will be Jamaica's representatives in the women's 800 final set for 7.55 tonight. Campbell qualified second from her semi-final in 2 minutes 05.52 seconds, while Ferguson clocked 2 minutes 06.36 seconds to make progress after finishing third in her semi-final.